It's a very, it's a known story. It's not a secret story, but many years ago, and this has been in the 1970s, there was a list made in Washington of the preachers that were considered to be a threat because of their influence. Mm. Now, I'll explain it to you this way. There was a fear among some, this is in the 70s, there was a fear among some that if these men continued to grow ministries, grow large churches, or even grow their television ministries, that they could influence the decision-making of social decisions. Mm. Okay? Now, there was an attack formed, and again, I'm, I know I'm vague and people are saying, explain, I'm not going to go there, but there was an attack formed to try to affect some of these ministries, and all of them at that time were good ministries and good men at that. Two of them have gone to be with the Lord and died with impeccable integrity. Okay, so that, that tells you they were good men. Let's go now to just a few years ago. Our um, Homeland Security has a list of individuals that they consider to be like a possible domestic terrorist or a possible threat. And there's a list made. Everybody, you know, they don't tell you the list, but it's in the paper. There is no major church or ministry on that list. Now, that's great, but here was the reason given as to why. Here was the reason given to someone I know as the reason why. They said there was a time that ministers had influence. But every time a Christian church in America starts growing in 